Hello, Clinic Affiliates. My name is Eric Pavri. I'm Vicki Witte. And I'm Yvonne Bass. The three of us were part of a team from Colorado Springs, Colorado, that traveled recently to the South Texas Family Residential Facility, better known as the Baby Jail. It's where the federal government is keeping Central American mothers and their children in prison. The reason we're making this video today is that when some of us attended the recent clinic convening in Kansas City, we spoke to people from clinic affiliates, Catholic charities, and other organizations from all over the country, and we realized that many people thought you had to be an attorney to go and help these detained mothers and children in Texas. We're here to tell you today that that is not the case. I happen to be an attorney, but my two wonderful colleagues here are not, and we all were able to do wonderful things to help those mothers and children. A little bit of background. These women are fleeing from horrific situations in Central America, Guatemala, Honduras, and El Salvador. Many of them are fleeing to keep their children safe. There are terrible street gangs that control those countries that are forcing their children as young as eight and nine years old to kill and murder to be part of those gangs, and they threaten to kill the families if the children don't join the gangs. Other women are fleeing terrible situations of domestic violence, sexual abuse by their husbands, their boyfriends. They don't feel like they can go to the police. They have nowhere to turn. They make it to the United States border because they believe in the United States. They believe the United States will protect them and keep them safe. They've heard about America. What happens when they get here, though, is that the U.S. government has a policy of throwing them in prison and throwing their children in prison. You have children as young as 18 months old who are growing up behind barbed wire, not getting proper school, not getting proper medical attention, not being able to go out and play. And the government is doing that because they think that throwing these women in prison will deter more from coming. Well, it's not. They're coming. They're escaping. They're running for their lives. We're here to tell you that they need your help and that you don't need to be an attorney to help them. I was also in Billy, Texas. I am a partially BIA accredited representative here at Catholic Charities. I've been accredited for over five years. I can tell you that I help these women and children through orientation sessions, uh, preparing them for their credible fear interviews, and also I had the great opportunity to be with them in some of those interviews. Uh, just remember, this is a very important line of work and you don't need to be an attorney or a BIA representative to help these women and children. I was able to do it, and you should do it too. I'm a community volunteer. I have no formal legal training. But when I heard about this opportunity to help women and children who are fleeing terrible violence, I knew I had to go. The team in Dilly gives you all the legal training that you need for the week. It's pretty overwhelming at first, but you'll catch on quickly. As long as you have some basic office skills and you can communicate in Spanish, you'll be able to make an amazing difference in these women's lives. You really can help them out a lot. I'm sure glad that I went, and you'll be glad too. Our trip to Dilly, Texas was very cost efficient. Uh, for two people, it only cost us $1,400. That included the airfare, um, hotel, car rental, and food. Uh, you only really need three skills to be able to go to this trip. You need to be able to speak Spanish, have a laptop if you can, and also have a big and great heart and desire to help these women and children. Remember, you don't need to be an attorney or a BIA rep. If you are not any of those, you can also help these women and children. The three of us together helped three times more women and children than one person alone would have been able to. Each one of us helped perhaps 30 women and each one of those women had children along with her. We helped those women feel more safe, more confident to fight their cases, and we helped them feel like they were really worth something. These women and children need your help. We did it, and you can too. Thank you.